Hey everybody, Leanna here, playing Assassin's Creed Unity Dead Kings. Um, and today we're going to talk about that infamous Law and Order episode. It is the mo Law and Order Special Victims Unit. It is the morning after the Law and Order. And holy cow, is that a terrible episode or what? Like, not just terrible about gaming. Just not a good episode to begin uh, from start to finish. Poorly acted, poorly scripted poor understanding of the culture they were uh, exploring, uh, but I was amazed at how bad the acting was. Like, it, at, I thought the women were, were actually, you know, it was going to turn out that they faked it because the dialogue was so stilted. And, you know, I don't like stories about women faking um, assaults. But, which is kind of stupid because they were all beat up. But, you know, they do weird things like that on TV. Um, but yeah, the acting was terrible. Which is not usual for shows like that. Oh, no, I don't want this. But, uh, oh, crap. Whoopsie. I'm running away now. Bye-bye. Um, the, um... Why can't I stab? There we go. Um, but the, uh, yeah, it, it was just, the quality of the episode was not there. Objectively. And that makes talking about their actual representation of, I won't even say it's Gamergate, because it wasn't. It was a, a mix of a bunch of things it, it you know the the basic things highlighted by the media coverage of gamergate sure but it's not um you know gamergate didn't create swatting or doxing or you know any of this stuff and i think it's important to note that no one's actually been physically harmed in connection to gamergate it's it's been a bunch of really nasty stuff online but that's it and so this episode was just, um, you know, where do you begin other than the bad acting? The fact that um, the, the massive game launch that was so important um, for her to attend was more sparsely attended than some high school plays. Maybe we can start there. The fact that it was presented like a game um preview the way you get it at E3 um, and not a game launch where the game is actually playable or how about the fact that the game looked like Age of Empires like from the time Age of Empires was current um, and uh, you know and then they then they went for the Amazon Warriors thing because of course a lady developer is gonna do something with Amazons right like, it's just stereotype bingo. And, but the thing that killed me is when that uh, Reina Punjabi woman or whatever um, actually got, you know, kidnapped and raped. The, the thing that comes out of her boyfriend slash fiance is, I told her not to do it. So they actually had victim blaming from the uh, the people we're supposed to be sympathetic for. And we wonder why at the end she gives up? That has nothing to do with gamers and everything to do with the douchebag fiancé. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. Okay, that animation took a little long. Skeleton. Huh? Rose Scepter. Now what? Uh... Okay, yay. Continuing, now what? Okay, follow the, follow the exclamation mark. Okay, so yeah. Um, and that was the other thing I found interesting. They didn't make the, 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 the people, the, the pastiche of all women in gaming, especially likable. I mean, when her employee got assaulted, she didn't give a crap. So, how are we supposed to really feel for her when it happens to her as well? And I mean, 
typical mistake, right, of strong woman. No, cardboard woman. There were no edges or textures to that character. And yeah, it's very hard to do that in, you know, one hour of television. But they could have done better than that. I mean, to not care that your employee has, has suffered a trauma because of their association with you, you know, not only is it, is, is it inhuman, you can get sued. So I thought that part was, oh, uh, who gives a shit, game launch. It's a game, lady. Games get pushed back all the time. Your employee was assaulted. Give a shit. Like, I, I couldn't believe that. So, you know, I was... um. You know, they, they were trying to make gaming seem like um, a not good place for women. But what they ended up, and, and I don't know why they bothered to do that. That's really unusual for Law and & Order. They don't tend to come right out and say, you know, the topic this week is just inherently bad. It's very rare that they come out and do that. Um... But, uh, oh, white screen. Something's gonna happen. Door knocker. Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that went well. Look! Woman who is not a size two! Exciting in games! Real looking wo Look at that! It's not that hard! If in my name, Madame Margot. Merci. Please. See? Tell him to come home. She's an older lady? So she looks like an older lady. She's not, you know, an older face on, on a 20-year-old's body. That's fabulous! And it's not that hard! See, that's the stuff I expect from next-gen gaming. They have no excuse not, like, to to avoid doing that anymore because it's all motion capture where's this thing i thought i got i'll get it later this morning for you guys um but yeah that wasn't that hard good for you ubisoft um but uh, yes yeah, so i was saying about the law and order episode that um i i know a lot of people afterwards were really upset and i feel terrible about that um, some people got calls from their relatives about it because it, it was really bad. I mean, the the moral of the episode was that women have no chance of succeeding in gaming because it's so misogynistic. And where do they get off smearing an entire industry like that? Um, part of the reason I want to play an Ubisoft game is, you know, hey, Jade Raymond, rocking it. She did okay. I don't know what her personal history is, but, you know, I'm pretty sure she wasn't abducted at a game launch. Like, that was ridiculous. The, the lack of understanding of technology. They're in an antiquated venue with old security cameras. No one's going to be able to hack the lighting board. That's absurd. And even if they hack the lighting board, the um, house lights or, you know, the, the regular pot lights in the ceiling are usually not hooked up to the same board as the, the fancy stage lighting. It was ridiculous, the, the abduction part. Um, but the, fa the fact that they actually ended it where basically she chucked it all, quit, and gaming's not safe for women. The hell? Like, and I understand why people are upset. I just, I don't know. I start wondering, is this what it's like for other groups that are frequently featured on shows like this? Is it that stigmatizing? Like, have I been an asshole all this time for enjoying this show? I'm starting to wonder I might be. And that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it a lot more carefully from now on because <sighs> that was ridiculous the portrayal of gaming i understand why people are upset but you know as i said to people who are afraid that you know moms won't let little timmy play games anymore 
Disney's brand and um, you know Activision Skylanders brand are way too potent for parents to completely be scared off gaming by one television episode. There may be a temporary uptick and they may, you know, avoid, you know, games like Call of Duty. But, you know, by the time by the time kids are teenagers, they're already doing a whole bunch of stuff their parents don't like anyway. And let's face it, that's part of the allure of video games for a lot of people. It's safe rebellion. Um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about the impact on the industry per se, you know. Um, what I'm more concerned about is the fact that the existing stigma is so strong, like law and order aside, most of the time television is responding to opinions about various things. They're not setting the opinion of the thing. And what does it say that gaming has been so unnaturally stigmatized, that people are so unnaturally afraid of, you know, the well-being of women in video games that um, anyone thought that was at all realistic. I mean, that entertainment piece that said, you know, the Law and Order episode is eerily realistic. Well, dude, you're basically saying then that if I go to a game launch, I can be expected to get raped. No, I don't accept that. And no woman should. If people think there is really, really such a severe problem with the real in-person meat space gatherings in gaming, then these companies complaining about it have a, have a moral imperative to do something about it. But they don't. So if you're complaining and you're not, you're not actually taking steps, if you're writing these things that women should be afraid and you're not doing a damn thing to make the situation better, I'm calling misogyny on that. You are saying that women have a natural, just it's just natural that women should be afraid in these environments. No, it's not natural. I disagree. It is not the natural state of things. What you're talking is rape culture when, when you insist that women have a you know, reasonable fear of these sorts of things. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm not going to line up behind that because that is... Men asserting that they are the de facto natural state for gamers. Men are the real gamers. And women, we're just visitors. We're second class citizens that require protection. No, I don't accept that. You know, and neither do a lot of the developers I talk to. They don't accept that. They see women as being on equal footing. Oh, something's happening. Oh. Exciting. Not so exciting. Come on, get to it. Yeah, you're a dwarf. You want to say, oh, crown. Time for cosplay. Put it on, dude. Put it. Yeah, I knew he was going to put it on. Oh, didn't see that coming. Oh, crap. He's Gollum. No. Uh, Should have told that before he put the pickaxe in the guy's back. Bathing in coin. That doesn't sound comfortable. Coin is hard and like kind of dirty and cold. Why would you want to bathe in coin? I don't think these guys bathe at all personally. But oh, the raiders descended underground searching for a mysterious artifact and whatever else they can get their hands on. They are weak individually and deadly as a group. So basically they're goblins. Arno is fighting goblins here. Alright. Let's see what this is. Oh, there are a lot of them. All right. Well, I've been gabbing at you guys for a while now. So um, before I fight the goblins, I'm going to sign off. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the support. Um, I'll get back on my, um, you know, responses to the big happening that's been going on with me with, with the articles on madleader.com. But um, I want to give a few people, I want to give some people more chance to read it because it is a lot to read and, and um 
some people I know are falling behind. They missed a couple videos or something like that. So I want to give people a chance to catch up before I do the um, follow through on that. But thanks for listening, guys. Greatly appreciated. Thanks for the support. And, and keep gaming.